The Tesla Semi is a highly awaited product for commercial customers. The Semi is expected to revolutionize the trucking industry with zero emissions, less maintenance, and being much cheaper to operate than traditional diesel. Furthermore, using cameras and other sensors, the Semi is promised to have autonomous driving capabilities, including autonomous platooning, where multiple Semi trucks can band together and follow each other, and would deliver new economy ratings for trucks that would even put it on par with the efficiency of rail. However, Elon Musk originally unveiled the Semi at the end of 2017 with a release date target of 2019, but it has since been delayed multiple times. So where is the Tesla Semi and when will we actually see autonomous platoons? Before we begin, please hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of our upcoming Tesla content. So let's start by saying that the Tesla Semi is a record-breaking truck in multiple areas according to the specs that Tesla has laid out. It will have a 0 to 60 acceleration time of 5 seconds with no load and 20 seconds with a full 80,000 pounds, which includes a full load and the weight of the truck itself. The Tesla Semi is expected to have a 300 mile and 500 mile range version for $150,000 and $180,000 respectively. And so to achieve this kind of range, with an 80,000 pound total weight at highway speeds, the 500 mile vehicle may require up to a 1,000 kilowatt hour sized battery. That's one megawatt, so that's a lot of battery cells required, especially if you consider that Tesla's current performance Model S has the largest battery of any vehicle that they sell, which is just 100 kilowatt hours, or one tenth the size of the Semi's battery. Tesla promises that the Semi's energy consumption will be less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, so either the Semi will have a battery smaller than 1 megawatt hour, or it will have a 1 megawatt hour battery and greater than 500 miles of range. When Tesla's vehicles hit production, they tend to have better specs than the prototype, and over time Tesla's over-the-air software updates always seem to improve the vehicle even further, especially when it comes to efficiencies and range. However, one of the main limiting factors to producing an electric semi-truck is getting enough batteries. Just to give you an idea, if we think of these vehicles in terms of batteries only, the semi might use a megawatt hour battery which is 13 times larger than a Model 3 battery, and this is the worst case scenario because this is the largest Model 3 battery that I'm using at an average selling price. So if you had limited batteries and you had to choose between the semi and the Model 3, you could make at least 13 times more Model 3s for each semi, and 13 times 50 is $650,000 of revenue, which is much higher than the semi's $180,000 selling price. So it makes no sense to produce semis unless you have extra batteries, and Tesla has been battery constrained. Especially with the hot selling Model Y, Tesla needs to satisfy that demand first, as it only makes sense economically speaking. So this is one major reason why the semi has been delayed from its original 2019 release date. Tesla basically needs to boost battery production such that they can keep up with their Model 3 and Model Y before they can start building semis. Another interesting thing is that Tesla guaranteed that the drivetrain would last for 1 million miles. Now this has to include the battery, it's not just the motors for example. What good is a million mile motor if you need to change the battery which is the most expensive part of the truck after 300,000 miles say? That would make no sense. So Tesla must be guaranteeing a 1 million mile battery, and back in 2017 when Tesla announced this, they didn't have a 1 million mile battery. However, recently Elon Musk said in an email to employees that it's time to go all out and bring the Tesla Semi to volume production. Therefore, Tesla is finally ready to take the Semi from its very limited volumes to the mass trucking market. And this would mean that the million mile battery, which Tesla and Elon Musk have alluded to multiple times, and we've even made a video discussing the million mile battery, which is expected to be announced at Tesla's upcoming battery day, I believe that the million mile battery must be ready for production, and Giga Nevada will be producing it for the Tesla Semi. So both the number of battery cells that Tesla can produce and the million mile battery at scale have been delaying the Tesla Semi. Now that Elon has given the company the green light to build the Semi, a factory needs to be constructed. Tesla has been looking at potentially opening up a new Gigafactory in Texas. However, it would take a year or longer to build out a new Gigafactory and Tesla has yet to select and announce the precise location for a new factory. It's possible that Tesla has made some room at the Fremont assembly plant to at least begin ramping up the semi at this location. Tesla has had enormous success and they've been remarkably fast at bringing up the assembly for the Model Y at Fremont. Fremont is a great location for the semi to be built as it already has much of the infrastructure and talent ready to go as compared to building a whole new Gigafactory from scratch. The main bottleneck with Fremont is physical space to put a Tesla semi assembly line. 
They seem to have found space for the Model Y, and so it's possible that with new efficiencies in Model 3 production, which is taking up most of that room, Tesla could in fact build a certain number of semis at Fremont, and if that's the case, they could hit the market very quickly. So those factors are likely the main reasons why the semi has been delayed. But now that the pieces have been coming together, the semi will be arriving very soon. Now, one of the most important things for the semi from a financial perspective is to greatly reduce cost per mile, whether that comes from operating cost or fuel efficiency or even reducing the price of insurance. The 500 mile version of the truck starts at $180,000, a sticker price which is actually very competitive with other vehicles in the class. Tesla has built in safety and reliability features such as lane keeping in case of emergency, automatically calling an ambulance if there's no response from the driver, and thanks to instant torque from the electric motors, jackknifing with a semi is deemed to be impossible according to Tesla. They also have redundant motors. Two of the four motors can fail and the truck still works. I don't see any competitors talking about this kind of stuff. Furthermore, there's much less maintenance required for an electric vehicle. There are fewer parts and Tesla is guaranteeing a million miles on the powertrain, which is the most expensive part of the vehicle. Tesla also uses armor glass for the windshields, as regular glass tends to crack about once a year for normal semi-trucks. But one thing that should really be focused on is efficiency of the vehicle, because this is where the dramatic savings come from and give electric a real competitive edge over any other type of fuel on the market. Tesla plans to build out a network of mega chargers for trucks, for which it guarantees low electricity prices at about 7 cents per kilowatt hour. At 7 cents, it would cost 70 bucks to fill up the entire truck battery, assuming a 1 megawatt hour size. The mega chargers can also charge up to 80% of the battery in half an hour, so that's 400 miles of range in half an hour of charging, and that's at the mega charger. It can technically be charged at any outlet. Even a supercharger would work, it would just simply take longer. However, the mega charger stations would be fast and they will be powered by sunlight as many of Tesla's supercharger stations are today. Furthermore, the electricity will be stored in a Tesla mega pack while there is excess power being generated and can be used to charge up a vehicle 24-7 off the battery. In this way, Tesla gets low electricity prices all the time. When the semi was originally announced in 2017, Tesla said that a power pack could be used to do this. But now larger mega packs made by Tesla are in production and they are more densely packed with batteries and are cheaper to build and deploy. So with low fuel costs, it's important to make sure that the truck is using it in the most efficient way possible. The Semi has a 0.36 drag coefficient, and Tesla puts that into perspective by comparing it to the Bugatti Chiron, which has a drag coefficient of 0.38. Of course, the Semi has a much larger front surface area, but compared to other trucks, Tesla has made some great engineering decisions in order to squeeze as much efficiency out of the batteries as possible, even when full at 80,000 pounds. Some Tesla competitors claim that they are pioneers in the trucking space, but they don't seem to understand what a drag coefficient even means. Tesla has applied its hardcore engineering and first principles design to create a simple but powerful design. Look how sloped the front of the vehicle is, which allows them to reduce drag. Furthermore, they've covered the back wheels and the entire bottom of the vehicle is flat, allowing the air to flow through easily, as compared to diesel trucks where this is simply not the case. The semi also has side flaps to adapt to its cargo trailer and effectively shield it from wind resistance. And guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the thumbs up button, we'd super appreciate that. Tesla states that the semi will be 20% cheaper than a diesel truck from day one, and that's a huge selling point to enterprise customers who are always looking to pull costs out of their business, especially over the long term with these kinds of savings. And Elon was clear that this is the worst case scenario. However, Tesla has an exciting trick up its sleeve, and that occurs when they have a convoy or a platoon of trucks following each other on the highway. There's a driver in the first vehicle, but the other trucks have no driver. The trucks would have significant synergies, allowing them to save fuel and be even more economical. If a single truck beats diesel in cost, then a convoy is going to be even better. The economics turn out to be about twice as good as diesel. Effectively, it's as if the first truck has three times as much cargo in this scenario. Elon Musk calls it economic suicide, not just for diesel, but surprisingly also for rail. Rail is very efficient because trains travel in a straight line and there's pretty much no traffic and because the wheels are solid and riding on steel as opposed to rubber on pavement, there's significantly less friction which allows rail to be very efficient. You also have one driver and tons of cargo. The disadvantages, however, are that all of this cargo is going to be going to the same location. You still need trucks to bring the cargo to the train station, load it onto the train, and then unload it back onto the truck at the destination in order to do that last mile. Trains are efficient, but they are bounded by where the tracks go. 
With semi-truck platoons, you can send groups of them directly to the destination, which may actually be faster, no extra loading and unloading step. And now Tesla is saying that it's also going to be cheaper. As soon as that happens, the ears of the industry perk up when someone has found a way to save money. Historically, rail has been one of the most efficient ways to transport goods long distances. Pipelines are more efficient, of course, but they are limited to certain types of goods, such as liquids and gases. The beauty with trucks is that they can pretty much drive anywhere. The highway system has a much broader reach than the railroad tracks. But does the technology even exist for these truck platoons to be autonomous? Um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. In 2017, Elon Musk said that Tesla was confident that this could be done. Now, three years later, Tesla's autonomous driving ability has gotten significantly more powerful. Having a vehicle follow another vehicle is now considered to be easy. And the platoon still has a driver leading the way of the first semi. This can get even better and save even more money down the road if Tesla is able to have an entire platoon be completely autonomous. Tesla has made huge strides in its autonomous technology since the semi announcement in 2017. Even in a couple of years, if Tesla creates an autonomous vehicle, this would have huge implications for the trucking industry. There's a shortage of truck drivers in the US and more and more things are being delivered than ever before. Fully autonomous semi-truck platoons would mean no driver costs, and of course autonomous vehicles don't need to be regulated for taking breaks. They don't fall asleep at the wheel and hence will be a lot safer. But this could also push Tesla into the logistics business and open new revenue streams, disrupting businesses such as Uber Freight, which has neither electric vehicles nor autonomous driving. As soon as robo-taxis are on the table, Tesla will immediately have it for the trucking industry as well. But taking a step back, even if Tesla is late by a few years in autonomous robotaxis, the autonomous platoons featuring a driver is extremely doable for them today, more so than it was in 2017 when they said that they could do it. Battery and powertrain technology improvements and their ability to scale production have made the timing right for Tesla to start ramping up the Tesla Semi. Tesla has also drastically improved its machine learning and self-driving AI capabilities, such that the base case of semi-platooning with a lead driver is the first thing that they're going to have on their production vehicles. Competitors are struggling to even make an electric truck, saying that Tesla is defying the laws of physics. What's interesting is that all of Tesla's predictions, such as the pricing of the vehicle, the million mile battery, autonomous platooning, these things were not really available in 2017 at the launch event. These are the things that Tesla has been working on behind the scenes. They're all converging now to enable the semi with some insane features that no one else is even looking at. The Tesla Autonomous Platoons is the killer app for the semi, as it will completely flip the economics of the trucking industry on its head and will quickly start to eat into the diesel truck industry and unbelievably the rail industry as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of upcoming Tesla videos and smash the like button to help support this video. You can also support us further on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open where we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. Thanks so much for watching.